Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 5 Finale. Yeah, um, we're just gonna go ahead and end off this season with the finale. Um, basically, we're gonna jump into Season 6 on 1.8, and I've already got an idea for this season, next season. Um, but what I don't have for the next season is, basically, mods for it. So... If you all could just give me a recommendation of mods in the description, that'd be fantastic. I might put them in, I might not. But yeah. Um, so season 6 is going to be coming soon. I just I can set it up and get it recorded. But yeah, this is season 5 finale. Um, we're just going to do a quick world tour, walk down memory lane. So when we first spawned into this world, it was like... And we came over here, over here, onto a hill, like right here. And we built us a shack. Um, the shack was just temporary. We used it to store all our stuff uh, so we could build that house. And eventually we tore the shack down after we went over into this house and we built it so here's an outside view of it this isn't the first edition because it got nailed by a tornado in one episode it's got a nice chimney and all this great stuff mm -hmm. let's if we take a look inside or here we'll go in the porch we, have, we don't go in the porch that often mm -hmm, yeah so if we go inside you can hear all the sounds We've got this stuff. We killed the Ender Dragon. There's some hardened clay in here, some iron apparently. That's a that updated. It's weird. Oh, the pressure. Oops, the pressure plate. Pressure plate goes activated by the XP. So we built this kitchen. It's got a carpet floor. Oh, of course. Who am I? Um, this is the room where you wipe off your shoes and all that, you know. Take them off, maybe. You go in here, first thing you see is the kitchen. You got the dining table, flower pots, you got the island, and then you got your cooking. A sink that works, that we used to work. Um, <laughs> and of course, a blender, a brewing stand, and your dragon's egg. Um, the room next to it is the living room. It has a siren. Uh, my resource pack is gone. Whoops. You got our fire pit, anvil, hidden lights, uh, this weather station area for to detect it, and of course a siren to let us know if we caught by surprise. And then, okay, and then we built upstairs. Jeffrey used to be here. I don't know what happened to my pets, to be honest. Um, we have our music disc that we found, our record station player, our bed, a little cup and light. Of course, another seating area. And then we go upstairs. This is our storage. This is probably my favorite part of the house, just because... At one point, this world was thriving. Um, it was very organized. And what I mean by very organized is I had everything the way it should be. All the chests were filled, organized and everything. And then I accidentally loaded the world in 1.8. And when you do that, when the mod's in 1.7, it deletes all your stuff. So then it became very unorganized. And to be honest, if I hadn't done that, the series, the season would probably be continuing to this day. It sucks, but you know what? It's fine. We'll move on to season six. So we go down to the basement now, and this is our tornado proof area. I really like the basement too, what we did with this, the, the island lights with the wood beams that go across and down, these stone slabs, the brick surroundings, our enchanting table. And then we've got the nether, and in the nether, oh gosh, gotta be careful there. 
think Jeffrey might be in here again. I don't know. Well, if he is, he could have gone anywhere. Literally anywhere. Okay, but yeah, this is the nether. We don't have anything built in here. I just grab some quartz from here every now and then. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey could have gotten so awesome. If he was in here. I also might be in here. I was keeping him in here for me to transport him back. But he is no longer in here. Anyways, um, this is the nether. There's not much to it. Um, yeah. And then, after the, that's it for the house. Let's go ahead. The next thing we built was the barn. Okay, yes. This, this also was nailed by a tornado. If we go in here, we got chickens, cows, sheep that are out. Chicken that is out. What the heck happened here? Okay, yeah, there's cows out to a little grazing area for the sheep. I need to close that off. That's what I needed to do. Um, yeah, so the barn. Oh my gosh, this one. This is awesome. I loved all the builds in this world. This is probably my favorite season by far of Tornado Survival. I actually enjoyed it. Um, it's got all the supporting beams. I went up there and placed torches on all of it to prevent mobs from spawning. It took me forever to get this all here. Um, we go outside. This also took decently long. Um, but yeah, we built the barn, the roof. Oh my gosh, it's just the best thing ever. <laughs> then the next thing we did was probably plant. We started planting all of this wheat. And it was our wheat field. And oh my gosh, that took forever. Even with the farming lot, it took forever to do. Okay, so yeah. And then after that, we probably, well, that was a long process, but during that, I believe the next thing we did was the mine shaft. Probably. My gosh, we built a lot of stuff in this world. It's all the memory lane for me right now. I love this world. Yeah, let's just go down here. It takes forever. <laughs> um, we built this mine shaft. I'm going to botch up the order of all this too, by the way. We built this mine shaft, and I also love this mine shaft because it, everything was organized again. I had all my materials stored. Um, oops, weather station got deleted from me. I accidentally reset the world with the 1.7 glitch. This wasn't built yet. That wasn't built yet. It was just the mine shaft. We went mining that way. We went that way for a really long time. And there's a ravine up there, too. It's, it's a little bit of a secret there. So, yeah, this is the mine shaft. Again, I really love this build, too. Um, we'll get... We'll just go ahead and hit these. Um, the next thing... The addition to the mine shaft was... This rail. We'll we'll ride it down there. And then on the way back, we'll, we'll walk it so I can show everything off. Let's go ahead and turn down the music. So, yeah, this is the railway. This I built this over summer break. Remember this right before I went on vacation to the beach? I, yeah, I definitely remember building this. But this led to the, mo to the mob grinder, which still works, by the way. I don't know why there's a hole in it. I need to, I need to reset the download because this is the one place that didn't get reset by the world chain, by the way. And chests do not open underneath half slabs now. This is way too loud. Yeah, I think this is still going to work. So yeah, they'd, they'd come. They'll all fall down. I really love this room, by the way, too. Water, lava, water, lava. Placed all this. Used all that for lighting. Had this rim around it. Even the pattern on the floor was just amazing. It was. It just had that industrial feel to it. I love it. So yeah, you can press this button. To burn. Mm -hmm. 
one hit from there. I don't know what was here before. What's that? Oh, hey, I gotta level up. Cool. Oh, no, no, no. Don't run anywhere. Okay. Okay, I thought I could break through here. I want to show you all the wiring. So, basically, this is... This is the thing that activates whether the zombies can walk through or not. That's the area down there. And... Uh, I don't think we're going to get one. But see, they can't go through right now. We have it shut off for the burning process. And this is the actual burning process. So, you hit the button. It turns on the dispenser once. And then... It lights another rack on fire along with the zombies. And then a timer goes off. And uh, it's like 20 something odd pistons. That'll hit this. And once once they burn long enough. It'll hit this. And the nether rack will no longer be on fire. And after the nether rack is no longer on fire. Um, it's only the zombies burning. They burn for several more ticks or something like that. And then after they've done that. Uh... It's um, uh, it's time to just one hit kill them. That's how this works. So n here is my um, uh, railway, and I'm very proud of this too. I have lava in the sides for lighting. Oh no! Oh, alrighty, guys, my game crashed there. Um, not quite sure what happened, but um, I don't know why this is. This is. Oh, whoops in a lava bucket. I don't know why this is like this either. There we go. Fixed it. But yeah, this is my railway. These are the lights in the floor. Underneath that is redstone to power both the lights and the track. And we got lava in the sides with stairs that run aside. And then whenever there is lava, there's stone brick, double slab stone brick, iron bars. And then this above. And I just think that this turned out amazing. I love this railway. This is my, one of my favorite designs for a railway. Again, it just has that industrial feel to it. I never actually finished this, did I? Because uh, there's dirt in behind some of this, and it's pretty obvious. But, anyways, yeah, this is the railway. Very proud of it. Next is the tree farm. Um, dirt, sapling, dirt, sapling, dirt, sapling, dirt, sapling, dirt, sapling, dirt. And basically you plant the trees, you cut them down. The saplings will fall into this water mechanism. They'll stream down in here, go down in here to these hoppers. And once they go into the hoppers, you'll get a few stuck up here. You'll just have to run along before it ends. By the way, there is lighting up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, by the way, once that happens, you just go down here. Get some saplings out. I did use this a few times before the end. You get the saplings out, you replant them. Nothing there. But yeah. This is the tree farm. This also took a very long time to build. But I like this. The stone brick. And then the wood siding on both top and bottom. Wood ceiling. And um, glowstone to light it. So yeah. Um, this is the... This is the tree farm, that was the mob farm, this is the mine shaft. So this is it for down here. We're just going to go out of order here, but I'm pretty sure the next thing, one of the earlier things we built was the lake. So we're going to go ahead and go up to the lake. Ugh, it's so hard to climb up this thing. We'll be there soon, don't you worry. Okay, so yeah, this is the lake. Um... This this actually wasn't as long as I thought it would be. But basically, there was a tiny little river that ran, like, right through here. Yeah, right through here. And I was like, we could put a lake here. So I built a dam on the backside here. I actually also did. Look at this. Good job, Tanner. I built the backside. I have a spill pipe, too. Um... I have the back side here. And the lake. I've just filled it in. We had to build a dam here too. Um, for this river. 
and then after the lake was built, I built a boathouse, which was also hit by a tornado. So we had to rebuild it. So that's not the original boathouse. The original boathouse was a lot better. But yeah, this is the this is the lake. You can go fishing, ride your boat around. It's very fun. Mm-hmm. Turn back around. Uh, I'll show you all the inside of the boathouse. Hope my game doesn't crash again because that was that was really unfortunate. I don't know what happened here, but whatever. Okay, now we go inside. It's just got a furnace and chest and all that. That's the boathouse. And of course, a little walkway and dock. Okay, so next thing we can look at is the airport. This took a very long time. I had to build this entire layout here. Never even finished this end over here. Um, but yeah, the inside of this is also pretty amazing. You know, this is just a random airstrip. There's not much to this. The inside of this is a spiral staircase going around this tower here. And the inside up here is pretty cool. I liked going up here to watch for tornadoes just as much as I did like that tower over there. Because, oh, whoops. Because, look, it has your crafting stations, the stairs, and then this weather forecaster. And I just really like the view up here. Because, you know, you gotta... You can look up. You can look all the way around. 360. And you're inside. I don't know. I just really liked it. So, yeah, this is, again, a favorite build of mine. Um, the dock was and pond was less of a favorite build. Um, we also built these dog houses that... Nah, I don't even want to talk about what happened with that. But one of the late last things we did in this series was we built this weather tower, which this was also in season four, and I recreated it in season five, and I'll probably recreate it in season six, no matter what we build, no matter what the theme is, just because this is incredible. I just love this thing. Um, yeah, let's just start from the bottom. It's just got incredible... Um, incredible height on this thing. Climb to the top. Um, it's got your regular old forecaster in this tiny room here. The original one had glass walls. But yeah, you got that. You go in here. Outside, you got your anemometer, your wind vane, your siren. You can again walk all the way around to view the tornadoes. And yeah, and of course, just like in season four. You can jump off, land in the puddle of water. So yeah, this is my, not my favorite build of the season. It's just amazing because it's always just a favorite build. Um, next thing we built was a little storage hut here for all the wheat and whatever I threw in here. But yeah, we had so much wheat and so much seeds that I needed to place to store them. And that became this little shack. Not much to it, just some chests, um, oak wood, border, stone brick, stairs, there's a roof, the outside, not much to it, but it served its purpose, this thing's always been there, I don't even know why I showcased that off, we also connected everything with these gravel paths to there and there, and then we put a gravel path going through here to our site of the western town, didn't get finished, I did like our camp though. It's pretty cool. But yeah, um, this never got finished. It never will. It's just going to sit here. I couldn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> um, we tried to build a railway too. Railway didn't work. I almost connected the gravel all the way around. I needed just a little bit more time and effort. Didn't get it done. It's probably one of the uglier things in the world now just because I never finished it. One of the last things we also built was a silo. This is the ugliest thing I've ever built in my entire life. I'm not proud of it. It is horrifyingly ugly. Don't even look at it. I didn't know what to do. So I built that, and it didn't work. So yeah, I don't think we're missing anything. Um, There used to be a village over there. We tore it down. Um, Yeah, this season was great. I loved the idea. I enjoyed it. had a lot of fun with it. I hope you all enjoyed it too and had just as much fun. Um, 
We also built, we also beat the Ender Dragon, but that's not worth going and seeing. Um, so many tornadoes hit, as you can tell. Um, just a lot of fun. Hopefully Season 6 will be just as much fun. Hope you all enjoyed the season. Comment anything you want about the season, your favorite part and all that. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna do it for Season 5. Um, Season 6 is gonna be just as exciting and coming around the turnpike soon. Um, if you all want to download the map, I'll put a link in the description to download the map. Sorry if this is a longer episode showcasing everything, but we just did a lot in this season. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this season. Season 6 of Tornado Survival is coming soon. Bye!